Hold on. Okay, so look. Before we do anything, there is something I wanted to get out of the water first. Now that we are not in the like in the in like the the, the position of any of the corns. Mikoto's hot, and she's an S rank. Now we'll continue. Okay, so like, uh, I, um, before we like officially start, like officially officially start, I was looking for some um, awakening music uh, to just play in the background when we started this first part because we're doing the tier list today. Um, this song, I love it. <laughs> I, it's so good. It's just like like so so good. That being said. Good day, good people. It's another fine day in the year of the Zenith Tomb. Day, bravo, anomaly, the normal cars. If you know me as the man who's honestly, it's not after Christmas yet at the time of this recording. So I'm still going to be decked out in this, and this attire is so warm, and it's so cold outside. <laughs> that this, it's just going to be a bonus Christmas day. Whoop de doo. And a lot of people are off right now, so it's, it's cool. Everyone's just vibing. Your United States Aviator is here, and we are doing not just an Awakening tier list, but a Fire Emblem Fates tier list. And I think the more interesting part about this one is me trying to remember all of these characters' names because it has indeed been a while. And going through, just like looking straight through, I looked through and I was like, oh man, it's gonna take some like some brain blast moments. Luckily, they're in all in alphabetical order, so I can kind of get a grasp of what the first alert might be. Given that I know the other two characters around them. Let's find out. We're gonna rank these characters. I'm gonna rank them based on how much I liked them. Um, and I think stepping back and doing this so long after Awakening, as we turn that down for me a little bit, is honestly a pretty good idea. Um, I'm also going to include the links for both of these tier lists. I have the, um, the Fates tier list literally, like, in the next tab. Um, you do them too when you post your list. I'm going to go through them, uh, very quickly at the start of the next episode. Uh, which I don't know what will be. I think we might, like, dip our toes in one of the lunatic modes or the hardcore mode or whatever they're called next time. I don't know which of the games we'll do, but we're gonna- we're gonna pop into one of them. <sighs> For right now, though, we're starting off easy. We see good old Anna. Anna. Okay, so like, she's gonna be A for Anna here, but I can already tell you, in the, the, the next one, Anna's gonna hit different. I assure you, I promise you. Uh, Aversa. Can't forget her name, even though I'm sure I've forgotten it before. So, like, y'all know, if you've been here since since Awakening, y'all know how I feel about Aversa, hands down. But when I started to see her supports, man, she dropped down to, like, a C immediately because she immediately forsaken me. And I was like, okay, all right. I see how it is. But, like, respectfully, between appearance and between supports, I put her, like, a respectful B. She's had a rough life. She's had a rough go of things. I'm gonna give her the respect she deserves. I'm gonna give her an B. I'm gonna put her right there. That being said, <sighs> name starts with a B. I keep thinking his name is Bolto, but I know it's not Bolto. Um, ba. It starts with Ba. I know that much, and I know that I love him, and I know he had one of the greatest quotes in Fire Emblem Awakening that I ever heard. Ba Flavia Basilio. Yes. There we go. Cause Flavia, who? Oh man, she was uh she was great. She's about to go in S rank too. Both of them S rank, absolutely. Love him. Love him to bits. I don't remember what that quote was. Someone's gonna have to remind me of the quote that he said that I was like, oh my gosh. Love him to bits. It might have been like one of his final his quote unquote final lines. Brady. Brady's an interesting one. I feel like if I were just getting Brady for Brady, I'd put him in, like, low B. Not quite C, but low B. Um, but because of the S&B society, 
and just Brady being Brady, I'm gonna put him, I don't think, I don't think I want him in like low A, I do think he deserves to be at the top of B. Ahead of, ahead of Reversa. Absolutely ahead of Reversa. You! Man! Oh man. I, I actually do adore this character. Church. We called her Church. I know that's not her name, but that's what I called her the entire time. I think it's spelled C-H-E-R-C-H-E, -E. <laughs> and I was like, that's church, take me to church. I just remember making that joke before. Um, I do adore her. I think all of her supports are really, like, nice, cute, she's very cute. I think I'm, I think I would put her in A. I would put her up here in A. A hundred percent. Not, I don't think she's quite S-tier for me. I do think she's above, uh, Awakening's Ana. Although Awakening's Ana, I think, so look, like in terms of the supports, I think Awakening's Ana is better than Fate's Ana. But in terms of appearance, for some reason that Ana hits different. And I don't know what it is. But this Ana has some neat supports too. I don't know. These two are like interchangeable. They might be the gatekeepers between like A and S, if you know what I'm saying. Krom, that's our real dad. Put him at the top. In fact, hold on. Add a row above. real dad and make it what color can i make it can i make it like gold i can't make it a col custom color that doesn't really seem like gold does it it's like a i mean that's yeah i'll take that put him up there love that man love him to bits screw grima <laughs> uh let me see let me see cordelia I, I never grew really attached to Cordelia. I think she's okay. I wouldn't put her in like S. I don't think I'd put her in A with with all of the redheads apparently so far. Uh, they're dominating the A rank. I feel like Cordelia was more B for me and I think she was maybe above a Versa but below Brady. I think that's a good place for her for right now. Cynthia, love her to bits. But I don't think she's at the top A. I think she's she's an A rank for me. And I think it just might be her supports with Jerome. Like, Jerome's probably gonna... I'm, I'm telling y'all, Jerome's just gonna be an S rank. He's gonna be an S rank somewhere. Uh, that being said, I think Cynthia... What do I remember about her? She had some decent scenes. She had some alright scenes with Owen. Owen's also gonna be an S and not just... Spoiler alert. Uh, does she deserve to be at the, bot the top of B or the bot? I think the bottom of A. Bottom of A, I enjoyed her more than I enjoyed Brady. Donnie, S rank. That's my guy. He might be at the top S rank. That's my dude. Never forget. Ride or die, Donnie. Uh, Emmerin. Emmerin's tricky. Emmerin's really tricky. And I'll tell you why. Emmerin, um... We thought she was dead, and she came back, and then from then she couldn't really say anything, and she couldn't remember anything, uh, but she was slowly starting to come to, and I kind of enjoyed those scenes with Starscape, but it was a little weird as well that you could us support her in that state. Um... Uh, not for nothing, I think I'm sticking Emmerin in C. I love her to bits, but like, we didn't get a- so- I'm gonna stick her in C. We didn't get a lot of her. We didn't get a lot of experience with her. That And it's gonna feel bad sticking Gangrel up higher than Emmerin, but like... <laughs> he has some good... He got some good lines. That's my guy. Uh, he's below Aversa. He's probably in C too. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna stick him in C. Um, Flavia, she's going in the S rank. She's below Basilio, I think. Nah, she's below Basilio. Basilio's my guy. Not for nothing, I love that man. Stop bits. Um, Frederick. Right? Frederick, correct. Freddy. He's gotta be in C2. I honestly think he might be below these two. All he's doing is picking up rocks. He might be in- I don't wanna put him in D. I like- I like him. I don't know if there's like any characters in this one that I despise. Yeah, I don't think Awakening had any, like, oh my gosh, I despise you characters. I don't know anything about you. Uh, <laughs> someone might scream at me. 
Because maybe he's like a very cool, very awesome, very great character. I don't know anything about him. He's in D rank. Um, let's keep going in order. You're Gaius, my guy. Uh, I do love Gaius. I love all of his nicknames. I think he's upper B. I don't know if he's A rank for me. He might be. I think I like his scenes with everyone more than I like his scenes with, um... Or more than I like the scenes with Cynthia. I think he might actually be upper A rank. And we'll go through and we'll uh, thin out some of these other ranks at the end. But I think he's up there. In terms of Jerome... He's S rank. Below... Below the cons. Below the cons. Yeah, below the cons, I think that's right. Love him, he deserves to be an S rank. That's my dude, but below the cons. Uh... <laughs> Gregor? Gregor? I think that's Gregor. I think that's his name. I'm pretty sure that's his name. I do love Gregor. I love Gregor. I love reading Gregor's lines. Yes, it's Gregor. <laughs> I miss him. He, his voice slow, uh, became um, the Ignatius and... Um, or at least a slight variation of the Ignatius and... Um, and Benny voice. So... Gotta give him that. Gotta give him that. Loved his lines. He was just a fun character all around. <sighs> he's in B. I think he's above Cordelia for me. Below... Is he below? I think he's above Brady for me. Yeah, I do love Gregor. I really do. Henry. Uh, so I hated Henry immediately. I really did. <laughs> but boy, did he not grow on me. I think he's, he's definitely up in the upper echelons. He's not S rank for me, but he's up there in the... I don't think he's high B. I really liked his, like, his scenes with Sumia. And honestly, some of the other scenes, his scene with Felicia, too, he had some really good scenes. Hold on. Like, I'm, like... So, most of this tier list is a part of the story. But then also, how much I remember their supports. Because if they, like, stuck with me, then I'm like, oh, yeah, they gotta go up here. And a lot of his did actually stick with me. Uh, more so than, I think, most of these characters. I think he might be... I think I have to rearrange these ones for, as well. I think she has to be closer to the bottom of A. Um, she might have to be below these two as well. Uh, and I think that might be the A rank right now. Henry is close to the top for me. He's not, he doesn't touch S rank, but he does hit the top of A. Inigo, who I can't call Laszlo yet. <laughs> who I can't call Laszlo yet. I do love him. I, is he S rank? I think he is, and I think I think it's because we had Oph uh, not Ophelia. I'm sorry, Olivia and um, Crom pair up, and I think his scenes with Crom and his scenes with um, Lucina, I enjoy those a lot. Uh, but we will continue. This character doesn't exist. And perfect. Okay, so like if I'm really ranking him. Oh gosh, I ruined it. I ruined it. Put A back up there. If I'm really ranking Kellum, I, I mean like I don't hate Kellum. I think he might have been at the top of C, which is why I'm putting him right here. But as a meme, he just doesn't exist, right? I don't I don't even know where he is. You! Your name, I really do not remember, and we really didn't spend too much time with you at all. I think you hated men. I think you had that archetype. Mmm. I like her less than Freddy. I do, and I think that's also a matter of, um, we didn't really spend a lot of time doing any of her supports. I think she might have ended up, uh, being our solo child, too. Laurent... He's in the B's for me. Um, I love his scenes with... <sighs> Noir. Yes. Gosh, thank goodness they're in alphabetical order. I could not remember her name for the life of me. And then I saw her stuck between Na and Now, and I was like, Nah, Noir. Nah, <laughs> I hope that's her name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, let me see, let me see. 
if we're talking about Lauren, and luckily you guys can see the both of those, um... Yo, his scenes with Na not Naoi, Noir really stick with me. They really do. I think he might. He's he's upper. He's up here. He's up here. Uh, I just don't know if I want him at the bottom of A. Let me think about it. Do I remember his scenes more than Gregor's scenes? I think I do. I remember Anna's more. So I think I got to either put him here or here. We're gonna put him here first. Then we might thin him and he might move up. We got a lot of characters to go through. I literally... Lissa... So between Lissa and Lawrence... La 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 Leo, no. La 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 I don't hate this character, I just don't remember their name. I know that they're often mistaken as female. I know that they are male. I know that they are, um, very pious. Their name is just not clicking for me right now. Ugh. Yeah, the name is just gone. It's blinked from my mind. Rest in peace. You might be the only name that I don't remember. If, like, scanning through here? Oh, uh, no, there's, like, two more names that I don't remember. I don't even know who this... I know who the guy at the end is. I don't remember his name. But it starts with... Y. Or Z. So, we'll get there. Lissa. Love her to bits. Honestly, I love all of her pranking. Uh, she's definitely a scene for me, or a tier for me. Uh, but a matter of where... I find her... She's, like, a main character. I find her more memorable than most of the people here. She's not s rank for me, though. I love Lissa. I love her more than Cynthia. I'ma put her there. Lissa deserves it. Um, and she's the grandmother of Ophelia, so that gives her a little boost. She might even move above guys for that one. <laughs> Just for the heritage. Uh, Lonk. Yeah, I love Lonk. Not for nothing. Used to hate Lonk. I didn't really actually hate Lonk ever. But I was like, met on Lonk, and then afterwards I was like, man, I actually really like Lonk. That's my guy. And he did work in our maps. That's also a matter of, like, do I remember them doing a lot of, like, work work in our maps? And Locke did some work. He was our guy. Lucina. Lucina's interesting. I, I gotta stick her in, like, B. And I think that's, like, mostly me being like, oh my, she's just, uh, she's just Lucina, it is what it is. There's nothing, like, super duper special about her. She goes, she has her tri- well, uh, she has her trials and tribulations, but, like, yeah, I mean, like, she's, like, the, the tertiary main character at this point. There's Skylord, there's Krom, and then there's her. Um. Not Skylord, I'm sorry. Starscape. Skylord's going back one more generation of Fire Emblem protagonists. Or, I guess, forward two? Anyway, <laughs> or three? I don't know. Um, that being said, I think I gotta put her in B. Not super duper crazy about Lucina, but I don't like hate her. I think she's cool, but I think there's cooler characters. I think she's solid, maybe at the top of B here. I also really liked her scenes with Lauren, too. It's nice that they're right there together. Maribel. Really, the only scenes that I remember with her are hers and Gaius's, and hers and... Gaius's man, I think she's got to go to see. I think she's at the, I think she's above Gangrel, the Mad King. Is she? No, I like Gangrel actually. Not for nothing, he might end up moving up to B. Um, I think she's above Emmerin though. Yeah, I gotta, I, I gotta not do Freddy like that. I actually do enjoy Freddy. You. Mario. Mar Mariel? Something like that. Her name is something like that. I don't really care for her. I think... Yeah, I don't really care for her at all, I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm just gonna stick her down here. Not for nothing, I'm just gonna stick her down there. <laughs> maybe slightly above KJ. I think she's made me laugh a little bit. Vikyo Axe, here it is. Um, I love the Morgans. Absolutely. That's my dragon daughter. Put her, put her up here, right? 
I gotta put her above my dude. I gotta put her above Donnie. Um, he didn't exist for me. But like, if I if he did, he'd probably be where Morgan is. Um, he is still Morgan. Nah. I like Nah. Nah felt like a very complex character to me. She had to grow up so she had to grow up so fast. Um, even though her appearance is literally stuck being so small because she ages so slowly because she is the the, the manikeet. Uh I remember a lot of her scenes actually because that was basically her tragedy. Cause she was stuck in tragedy. That was tragedy was like the the main theme for all the kids. They came from the destroyed timeline. Um a destroyed future. But I, for some reason, I remember a lot of her scenes more. Even her scenes with her mother, Naoi. I think I got a sticker like here. I think I gotta go A. I think she's bottom of A. But I like Na a lot. I think she might be S. Noir? She was almost a marriage candidate. I think she's gotta be S. I think she really does. Naoi... Yeah, now is I okay, so look. Now he feels very one-dimensional. She really does. She's all play no work, hates work. But I understand she does some of that for morale, but it's also like it's just I gotta put her down here. Above Emerin, I like don't hate Nowie though. And she was real useful as a unit. I think her versatility as a unit does stick her at the top of uh the top of C. At the Gangrel, if you don't move out of the way, there we go. At the top of C for the very least. Because I remember her doing some some slapping. She did some slapping. Uh, Olivia. <sighs> I like Olivia. I really do. I like Olivia a lot. I'm a sticker like there. I think there's better characters than A, but she's got to go in the A rank for me. Uh, Owen. S. Put him up there with Basilio. Before or after is a real question. I, so, like, I might have to rearrange these three. You're definitely above. <sighs> like, these three, they're equal for me. Owain, uh, Basilio, Donnie, those three are equal. These three, those are my dudes. Those are my guys. Uh, Pan. She's definitely B. I wouldn't put her in C. Uh, I think she'd be B right around Gregor. But I think below Brady. Maybe right above Brady, actually. Right above Brady, because I do like Pan a lot. I really do. I miss Pan. Uh, ooh, man, I don't remember your name. P doesn't start with a Q, or does it? Might start with an R. Uh, Rajat, no. Um... Really a guy, really big hat, okay? Um. <laughs> this guy's name is Reginald now. I, I don't remember his name. I don't think I ever really used him. He was all up to snuff about saying, I'm not just a kid. Stick him over there. Not for nothing. I loved Starscape. I'm gonna put him up here, and I'm gonna put him, like, look, cause, like, real dad, real son. If we're ranking, like, the protagonists that we had, I don't think Starscape would be number one. I think, like, the Fates protagonists were just, I don't know, god-tier protagonists for me. I don't know what it was, what it, what, uh, what it was about Fates, but... <laughs> it just fell right. Everything just fell into place. Uh, we technically had a brief... Uh, version of a female Robin uh, that we named Luna Red, but didn't actually really exist. Didn't get like a real taste of it. Uh, but there she is. She'll be, she would be there. Uh, Sayri. Y'all. I love Sayri. I love the accent that we gave her, even though it was definitely not a matching accent. Um, that being said, she didn't have a ton of scenes. But I remember the scenes that she did have. With Starscape. <laughs> And her brother, who's down there, but it's not actually her brother or something like that. Um, bottom of A. 
Bottom of eight, and that might, a lot of that might be based on character design. And the accent we gave her. Uh, Sayuri was, she was up there, man, y'all, I love Sayuri. Uh, Selena. Severa. She's Severa in this game. <sighs> Severa's kind of hard to place. She's got mommy issues, but she's got mommy issues to go into the next game, too. There's her mommy. Um... Once again, I think she's a little too, 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 too much. I think she's a little too much, but the S and B Society scenes really saved her for me a little bit. But even in those scenes, she was a little too much. I think I might put her at the. I like Naoi more than her, honestly. Do I? So look, I think these two might just need to stick together. They gotta be the top of C. I really, honestly, put them at B, and they might move. They might that. They both might move up to the top of B when we end this. Uh, when we go through the last uh, few of these characters. Um, but I feel like they're very much two halves of the same coin. Although we see, like, glimmers and bits of, like, varying, uh, personality traits from Severa more so than we do Naoi. Uh, which it puts her above Naoi for me. So much so that Naoi might stay right there and Severa could move up to B. But right now I'm gonna stick her in C and we'll see what happens at the end. Uh, Stall, I really never use that guy. Wherever the average is at the end of this, we'll just stick them in there. So for right now, we'll stick them there. Uh, Sully. I enjoyed some of Sully's scenes. We didn't really use Sully a whole lot. But I enjoyed Sully. How much did I enjoy Sully? More than these two. B. Bottom of B. Bottom of B. Sumia, I, I honestly, not for nothing. I really like Sumia, you guys. I really did. <laughs> I feel bad that we didn't like Crom Marrier, but her and... Man, her and Henry, they can just stick together. They're my OTP, not for nothing. Don't add me. Tharja. Tharja's an interesting... And before we, like, hold on. Like, Tiki... That's Dragon Mama, hold up. Whoa, Mama. Put her up there. Uh, Tharja. She's a strange one. <laughs> she really sincerely is. But she can get some, like, senses of caring between the darkness. Uh, her stalking Starscape. I thought that was funny. I don't hate Tharja. In fact, all of her scenes are pretty memorable because of it. <sighs> higher, higher. Ooh. This is where we get kind of tricky. This is where we get kind of tricky. This is this is where we get kind of tricky. I think she would go to B, but I think she's higher than Brady. I think she might be lower than Pan for me. But I think it may be just because Pan had such a tragic backstory. Put her there. Put her there. Vike, he is such a dummy. But gosh, if he isn't uh, memorable, he was not useful for me at all, if I'm being completely honest. But man's do I remember this man's. Put him in B. Okay, uh, Varian. I, I'll be frank, I remember Varian, I remember some of the scenes, and... So, like, immediately, like, just, not for nothing, no instant thoughts, I'd put him in C. But I know he had some very sweet scenes, I know he and Cordelia had an incredible, uh, F scene. Honestly, it's C through S. Let me be fair to him. Like him more than Maribel. Like him more than you. Like him more than Naoi. Like him a little bit more than his daughter. Do I like him more than Sully? No, I don't. He might be the gatekeeper here. If he's the gatekeeper here, then I think you are solidly there. Uh, and then we're gonna try and, like, round out the rest of this. You, I... I remember you being, like... Big beefy boy who nobody could defeat. He's there. I remember him. Uh, Yarn. The Freddy Cat. I don't hate Yarn. Uh, <laughs> I don't hate Yarn. But I think he might be C for me, you guys. I think he really might be C. He might be bottom of B. Nah, he might be C. I think he's C above all of these guys, though. Yeah, I think he's... He might be B. He might be low B. We'll go. We'll see. Uh, and then you. If I can't remember your name, you gotta go down there. Yeah, 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 Seri. 
Yay, three. <laughs> That's not his name. Dang. Alright, but like, I remember his story though, and that's the- that's the troubling part. I know that he did a lot of the things that he did just for his sister's sake. Um... I gotta put him, like, in here though. I think I gotta put him above you, but just because- I'll put him above you too. I think I'm- I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Now let's, uh, let's go and refine the things that we have right now. So D, I'm okay moving you to D. I'm okay moving you to D as well. I'm alright moving you to D. I don't hate this character, but I can't remember their name. I think I want to keep them in C, keep them in C, keep them in C. Uh, so I think for people moving down to D, I think we're done. For people moving up, I think you should probably be ahead of both of these characters, and you should as well. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Gangrel. Not for nothing, I like Gangrel more than Nally. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nally, but I do love Gengro more than Nally. Um... Varian? Yarn. I think Yarn... So here's the thing. Does Yarn move up or do other people move down? I think Sully moves down to C. I think that, take care of, I think that takes care of our C rank. Um... Versus stays. I think she actually moves above Cordelia. In my in my opinion, no, Cordelia's got a couple of D's. That's I mean, she was more useful. She was more useful just based on you. She's got to stay up. Uh, I think Lucina stays as the gatekeeper there, but I think we move Sayri down to B. Yeah, let's move Sayri down to B. Let's move... I think I like Noir up a little bit more. Uh... Inigo. Does he stay at S or do I move him to A? He's the real kicker, because I don't like having more characters in S than I do A. So what I think we're going to do here is move Inigo down... And I think Locke stays there, and I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay with this. I think that's our final. From start to finish, we have Real Dad, Real Son, and then Morgan starts our S rank. Owen, where he deserves to be. These two. Are interchangeable for me. Uh, Flavia's up there. Below Tiki. Uh, and below Jerome, too. But above Noir. And then there's Lock. S locked in. A rank. Inigo. Henry. Sumia. Lissa. Gaius. Cynthia. Church. Uh, Olivia, Anna, and Na. I'm okay with that. B rank. Sayri, Lucina, Vike. Laurent. Do I Laurent? Above or below our man's Gregor. I like Gregor a little bit more. I'll put Gregor there, and I'm actually gonna put Vike a little bit lower. I think that fits for me. I think that fits for me. And then the rest of them are fine. Uh C rank. I think the average is like here-ish. So Stall can go here. Uh, you guys don't exist. Uh, did not exist in playthrough. Yeah. Uh, then our C rank I think is fine. Sully, yeah, I already went through them. Okay, yeah, I think that's my final. That's my final right there. <sighs> do, you d do you agree? Do you disagree? Where did your favorite character from Awakening fall in my eyes? Because this is definitive. For the playthrough that I had, this is where we go. But, now let's move on to something a little bit fresher in our minds. Let's go. Fire Emblem Fates. As we switch the music. Because we are now done with Awakening. Uh, which, what do I have? Oh yeah, I mean, that's classic. That's classic Fire Emblem Fates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, let's get to it. I think this one's gonna be harder. We have more characters here, and I should remember all of their names. <laughs> Arthur, we're gonna put him at A to start. Um, what is his name? Gaius. Asugi. I was gonna say, his name's not Gaius, I was just staring at Gaius for so long, but they're freaking, literally, the same. They're the same. Uh, put him in B. This man's Azama. I'm gonna put Azama in, like, C to start. He might be bottom of C. He's a little too snarky for my taste. Azora's in B. Hold on. Okay, so look. Before we do anything, there is something I wanted to get out of the water first. Now that we are not in the, like, in the, in, like, the, the, the position of any of the corns. Mikoto's hot. And she's an S rank. Now, we'll continue. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to get that off of my chest. Uh, Benny is... <laughs> I love Benny not for nothing. He's gotta be, uh, below Arthur in A. Arthur might move up to S if I'm being completely honest. He's Justice. He's, we're putting him in S. Um. Our girl. Baruka. Uh, I came in really liking Baruka. I still like Baruka. I really do. I don't know if she's... She might be end of A, but I'm gonna put her at the top of B for right now. Um. Not Cordelia, Keldori. Keldori, honestly, I like Keldori more than I like Cordelia by a great deal for some reason. Even though they're nearly carbon copies, it felt like she got a little bit more characterization. So I'm gonna put her uh, below Baruka, but I think I'm gonna move Baruka up to A and she might be the top of B. Camilla, uh, she's fan service. Okay, so like, I'm. this might be like it. Not for nothing. She is, she's, she's the AV Mania champion. I'm sorry, the AWE champion. So that, like, gives her some bonus points, like, in the back of my brain, but if we're talking just about the playthrough. Um. C. Top of C. There were times. Several times in Birthright. And I think it's mainly for her writing. Like, she's got, look, she's got, she looks incredible. Sometimes she scares me, though. And I think she might be, like, really, she, like, not for nothing. I think I'm being too hard on her right now. She might be at the top of, I'm sorry, the bottom of me. But, like, character-wise, meh. Meh. She was the mother of Ophelia. So that gives her a lot of bonus points, but it is what it is. Charlotte's S rank, not for nothing, don't add me. And it might just be the voice that I gave Charlotte. But I loved reading Charlotte's supports, and I loved using her in battle when I used uh, when I did use her in battle. When she crits, she crits. Um, our man Dwyer. I love Dwyer. He's low key a super duper romantic. I like him more than Baruka. Uh, he's about the same for Benny for me, so I'm gonna put him here. I think they're very interchangeable. I'm gonna put him in A to start. Effie, I almost we almost married Effie. She was in that elimination chamber match. I think we'll stick her in A for right now. If there's like all of her scenes involve her either ripping things to smithereens or eating some obscene amount of uh, food, but like I like Effie a lot. <laughs> I really did. Uh, Elise, <sighs> she's just she was just a bean the whole way through. She started a string quartet. We gotta put her in S. We gotta put Elise in S. We love Elise. Felicia's also S for me. Like, not for nothing. I love Felicia a lot. Um, so much. Like, she's, like, in the upper echelons of us, too. She's above Elise for me. I don't know if she's above Charlotte, though. That's gonna be something we have to go with a little bit later. Flora. She set herself on fire. <laughs> I'm gonna put her in the top of B. Maybe even, like, the middle of B. Uh, Forest. B as well, we didn't really ever, we, I don't think we ever used Forest in a battle. Outside of the DLC, I really don't think we ever used Forest at all in any battle. So 
somewhere in B. Lower B, and we just never use Forest for real. Mr. Fuga's Wild Ride. I love Fuga. Not for nothing. But, like, as a unit, we never really... I think I used him, like, once or twice, and I was like, he's kind of cracked. But then I was like, oh, well, I got cracked units as well, so we had Greg. Uh, man, if I... I wish I could add Greg into here. Uh, a Greg sprite should be in here, and Greg would be just at the top. Just at the top, wholeheartedly. Y'all already know, Greg is like... In fact, let's just go and just, like, in memory of... Uh, add a row above. X. Make that Greg green... Greg. Uh, close that bad boy. Yeah. That's where Greg would be. He'd be in a rank all his own. Uh, blame it on Garon. Honestly... <laughs> I don't really love Gunther so much. I think he's at the top of C. I really don't love him that much. But, like, the emotional attachment I got to him immediately when uh, Hans freaking threw him off the bridge. Is Hans in here? Uh, 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 let me see. Uh, Laszlo. Izana. Hans would be right here. Hans isn't in here. Well, then, just in memory of Hans. Uh, close that off. Yeah, in memory of Hans, just like we have for Greg. Thumbhead. Let's make it red. I make it freaking gray. Because he doesn't deserve to be here. Gray him out. Perfect. Alright. That's where he would he would be right there. We all know that for certain. Uh but You never smile. <laughs> I love her design, not for nothing. She's one of the first characters I ever got. One of the first characters I ever got, honestly, in um Heroes, but I think the very first character I got. From pulling was uh you her and I don't know why I'm just pulling Soleil out of order but like Soleil and I always will have this special bond where she was the first character that I pulled and if we ever have supported I'd be like yo best friends forever homie best friends forever um so I gotta put her in a love her to bits now let's go back in order <laughs> I just had to say that I was like she was, and I, like, I think, like, if I pulled up, um, Heroes right now, and I'm sure I need to update it, so I'm not gonna pull it up right now, um, in, like, the first party slot, that's a slot that I've, like, never really touched again, she's probably still the number one character in that spot. Not for nothing. Never forget. Uh, Hayato. Uh, I kinda, I liked Hayato, and we've used Hayato a little bit in the last run, but then we stopped using him. Uh, his scenes... I love to see, like, there were, th so the thing is, there's a lot of S scenes that I love in this game. So it's gonna be hard to rank a lot of these characters, but like, objectively, from a character standpoint, he's probably C, but I definitely put him above Hana here. Hinata. Uh, <laughs> Hinata's a dummy. <laughs> I'm gonna put him like here. I love the scenes with Felicia, they were some of the- they, it still might be my favorite I've seen in this game. Um... Not for nothing, their whole support chain, rather. They might have the best support chain that I think, romantic support chain in Fates. <laughs> we never used her, man. We never used her. She's the royal who I literally paid the least, the least attention to. And she was in charge of the end of birthright. Yeah, slap her there. Uh, our pickle boy, Hisame. Honestly? Just in terms of, like, being an actual character? He's probably C, but I guess just the bit of him having pickles. And then, uh, Selkie being the voice of Tommy Pickles probably brings him up to B for me. Uh, do I think he's more bearable than Camilla? Yes. Then Fuga, no. Fuga's so cool. Uh, Fuga's gonna actually be a really- yeah, Fuga's gotta actually be above you. Fuga's gotta be above you, too. He can stop there. That's gonna be our gatekeeper. When I pull somebody up, it's gonna be like, 
Are you cooler than Fuga? Get down here with Garon. You're cooler than Garon, though, not for nothing. Ignatius, love him. Love him a bit, he's a fraidy cat, but not for nothing. He's always there for his friends. He might be... He's above you, he's above you, he's above you, he's not above you. I think he might be our gatekeeper for the bottom of A for now. Izana's in the house and he's in the S support. Jacob. Jacob, he's snarky. And I'm not, I like, I'm trying to like rate Jacob, but I have to like remember that even though we didn't like really use Jacob this time, I know we used him in Birthright, and I know that we got most of the supports out of the way already in the first two, so we didn't really see a lot of them in this past one. Um, but I do enjoy Jacob a lot. So much so, more than Azora or less? I think a little bit less than Azora. A little bit more than Azora. A little bit more than Flora, right below Gaius. I think that's a good place for him. Uh, Caden. That's our resident furry. Put him in A. Not for nothing. I like him. <laughs> but Azora likes him more. And so does freaking, um... Freaking Sakura. We got... Our girl. Where do I want to put Kagero? Do I like Kagero more than Kaden? Uh... Okay, so this is one of those things where I think Kagero's really hot. <laughs> not for nothing. But I'm not ranking based on just appearance. I'm ranking based on the, like, characters. And I do like Kagero. Um, but I don't think I like her more than a lot of these other characters. I think I like her a little bit less than Fuga. Uh, but I like her character more than I like Hinata. Uh, Kana's a bean. Uh, I'm just gonna put the Kana's in the gray. What? They only gave me one Kana? I, you know, I guess that makes sense. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna put the corn up there too, just because all of our coins were so special. They're in like their own like little category of their own. Um, if I were actually ranking Kana, since Kana's like a real character in this game, I guess corn is too. But <laughs> y'all, we we <laughs> we had some fun with our corns. Um. I think if I were legit ranking Kana, Kana would probably fall probably bottom of A, just because Kana's adorable. Kana's got some really cute scenes. Uh, let me get our mans here. Kaze. I do enjoy Kaze. Uh, especially, like, his... I liked Kaze the most when we were playing Revelation. I think he was okay in Birthright. He was meh in, um... Conquest. But in Revelation, for some reason, he kind of stuck out to me. Uh, maybe it's because I saw a bunch of his scenes already, and then I was like, he's got a lot of good, like, potential romantic scenes, which makes sense because he's a ladies' man and he really doesn't want to be. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna put him here in B. I think I like him a little bit more than Azora. I'm gonna do that. Uh, our man's here. It's our other furry, but I think he's the lesser furry, if we're being completely honest. Um, I don't hate him. He's honestly pretty good in battle. I don't... I, I think I like him here more. Uh, sometimes he's not as bearable as Camilla. Not for nothing. Not for nothing. <sighs> so we're here. Y'all know where we are right now. You know who's staring me right in the face. The man who literally cannot wield the Fujin Yumi to save his life. Literally cannot wield it to save his life. Misses when I need him to hit most. When he's got great chances to hit, he still misses. That being said, despite all of my rage, I'm gonna set it all aside. And say that I really do, I really do enjoy him. I really do. All of his supports, all of his supports were great. 
Uh, even his friendship, like, his, like, A supports, like, with his homies, like, uh, his four support was great. Um... And they're all... fairly memorable. I think he might be our gatekeeper for A. Caden still might be the gatekeeper for A, because I think I like him more. Yeah, I think I'm- I think we're good there. Laszlo, you're up. Laszlo in this game. Do I like him more than Inigo? They're probably about the same. He's got some really good supports too. I'm gonna stick him somewhere in here. Uh, Laszlo over Sole, Laszlo over Effie? Yes, Laszlo over Baruka, yeah. Laszlo over Dwyer, maybe? Maybe not. These two may be interchangeable. Uh, Leo. Also a little bit unbearable sometimes, but I, I like him more than some of these other characters. Um, I like Higero more. I think I like Hinata maybe a little bit more. Forrest and Leo are kind of interchangeable for me. I'm going to stick Forrest a little bit higher, though. Uh, Midori. I think I just like the bit that we gave Midori that every time she starts to cry, she just... Her, her high... <laughs> her high voice suddenly becomes like, You really don't want to do that, do you? <laughs> She turns god. That being said, I don't... <laughs> she's okay. She's a bean too, but like, she's not super bean up here. Um... I'm gonna stick her over here with like, Asame. I think she's kind of just general bean. Um, Mitama I love a lot. Not for nothing. I'm like, sticking Mitama maybe like up here in S. Don't know why. I, Mitama's just great, in my eyes. Mozu's also up here in S. I think it's because we have Mozu all three routes, and all three routes we had like, different like... <laughs> A different set of chain scenes for Mozu. I like Mozu, I really do. Not more than I like most of these characters. In fact, Mozu might be our gatekeeper for S. Um... Oh man, his name, Niles. I was gonna say, I just was in my head and then my brain was like, uh, What was that name again? Let's go, Niles. Hi, B. Cause he's a nut. <laughs> and I like that. Put him there. We're gonna really have to dwindle down this B section, but... Nina, I honestly like her more than her dad. I really do. And her scene's very memorable. She might be higher here, higher here, lower there, stick her there. But for her sake, I'm gonna stick her here so she can look forward at two gentlemen. Don't worry, Nina. I got you. Uh, Nyx, I love Nyx. Love her to bits. Glover less than Mozu. She actually might be at the top of A. Uh, Oboro. She's in B for me. But I like... So, like, if Oboro didn't have any scenes with any Norians, I think she really might be in C. But I think all of her scenes with Norians push her higher up the rank a lot for me. Um, what, her scenes with... Silas, her scenes with, um... Benny, her scenes with... I don't know, she had some other scene, but I don't know. Those scenes were just, like, really nice. They were just really nice. Put him up there. Oh, ain't my guy. Put him... Put him up here. Like, hotness can only take you so far, Mikoto. Oh, ain't hot, too. <laughs> Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, add a row. I don't know which one I clicked. Yeah, do that. Uh, Ayo? Uh, where did I just drop Ophelia? Cause she's about to be in there. Yeah, put her there. Ayo? Alright. <laughs> um, we missed out on Oboro, not Oboro scenes. Um, what is your name? Orochi. I was like, she's not a Boro. She's O O O Orochi. Auto parts. Uh, Orochi. I we missed out on our scenes in Birthright, and I'm glad we got them in um in Revelation, cause they're good. She's got some really good scenes. She. I don't love her more than I love these two, but I think I like her more than I like Elise easily. Give me Percy. He's got to go in S two. I think he might actually go in A. I think he might be the gatekeeper for A. Push come to shove, he might get moved to the bottom of us, but I love Percy. That's my dude. She's gonna be down here. Perry? 
Y'all, I love her cotton candy hair, but like, she's, she's down here. She really is kind of down here. Her scenes are aggravating. Oh, maybe more aggravating than Zama. She might really be here at the bottom bottom. But her skills, her like, her skill in battle, I think it brings her up just, just to right there. Reyna? B, A, A, B, B, A, B, A, B. B, B for blood. She can, she can have that, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know if she's right there though. I think she is a lot lower. Um, I like her story progression during the supports, but I think I want to put her below Leo. Uh, who did I just stick up there? Because I know I moved somebody and it was not... <laughs> uh, uh, I think I just moved somebody out of the way. Maybe I didn't. I think there might have been someone between Reyna and, um... And our homie Rinka, but... If there was, whoops-a-daisy. Rinka's going an S. Not for nothing, Rinko. This shouldn't surprise anyone. If you saw the first, the very first episode, maybe the second episode when she got captured, and I was like, hello? <laughs> and then I was like, dang, she's on the enemy side. I'm gonna have to murder her. Y'all, I caught the feels for Rinko immediately, and we married her at the very end. So you know what? Not for nothing, get in there, Rinka. Um, and she's got some really cute scenes, even though she's 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 just the right amount of uh, of, of Sundere, something like that. Uh, give me Rajat B, but high B, high enough B where I think she's the gatekeeper for B now. Um, I love her. Realma's too perfect. If I were strictly going on battle, he'd be king of the mountain. But in terms of, like, character, too? I gotta do that. Nah, I gotta do that. Yeah, I gotta do that. Uh, Saizo. Saizo snarky. Saizo... He's okay. I like Saizo. He was an okay unit, but like in terms of like character, I don't vibe with him. He's definitely above Hana. I think he's above you, Hinako, or Hinoka rather. Um, I think I gotta stick him there. Sakura, she's a bean. I don't love a lot of her scenes. She's very static in terms of character, but she does seem to like make some changes. Uh, I'm gonna stick her here, right below Aboro. Actually, right below you. Maybe right below you. Actually, right below you. Hold on, Sakura. I'm sorry. You're dwindling. You're falling. You're falling. You're falling, girl. You're falling. She's falling. I'm okay with that. She can stay there. Uh, Scarlet. Below Baruka. Below Effie. Below Soleil. Below Ignatius. Below you. Below you. Uh, above you. Above Caden. I like Scarlet. Then I looked at her proposal scene, and she kind of clowned us for it. And us, I mean, um... Um... Fulgent. So I was like, you know what? Get to the bottom of it. You would have been S tier. You would have been capped. Uh, Severa. I like Severa a lot more than I like Selena. They're the same character, but for some reason she feels a lot better in this game. I think it's probably because she's been through a lot more at this point. Um, I like the fact that they had a little, like, subtle differences between uh, Selena. Or rather, that related back to her deal with her mother with Cordelia. Uh, in her supports with her daughter, Kale Dory. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to say, hey, let's go ahead and put her... Bottom of A. Bottom of A. I kind of like that. Uh, Selkie. Bottom of B. Easy bottom of B. Uh, y'all know I love Setsuna. The trap girl. Uh, put her... Ooh, boy. She's below Izana. I don't know. This is the tough call. There. There? There. Yeah, right there. Shigure. Also love that boy. Love him to bits. He sings a song. 
He's a part of the Fulgence. In fact, there should probably just be like a little Fulgent category in here. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Because they're all pretty much right there. They all stuck right there. So get in there. That's the Fulgent. So yeah, let's go. Uh, <laughs> Shiro, he's us. We literally, I don't think, ever really used Shiro. I think we might have used him this last... Yeah, we... No, I don't think we used him this last ride either. We definitely used Sigbert. Siggy. Siggy. Bro, this man. He he rocked out. On Revelation, he rocked out. He was almost better than his betting. Um, that being said, Shiro... He is not up here for his utility. Because I did not use him. He is up here for his supports. All of which were pretty much great. That's my guy. Shiro... Uh, go with your, you, that's your, that's secretly your son, let's be honest. That man's a secretly your son, Shiro, so I'm gonna put you right next to him. Uh, Siggy. Sigbert? As I said, I'm gonna stick him here for right now as I talk about him. Uh, Siggy? In terms of utility, our Siggy sucked in Conquest, I think. He might have been okay. No, I think he sucked, because it was hard to get him. Um, in Revelation, he was... On the, the, like, on the brink of being the next Xander. He was, oh, I was about to call that man's king already. That was about to be the king. Um. Do I put him here? I don't know. Or do I put him here? Let me think about his supports. The math buddies forever brings him closer to A. The rest of his supports, meh? No, he's got a couple decent ones. I still think he's B. I don't think I like him more than, uh, Rajat. But I think I might like him more than Kildori. I'm gonna put him there. Silas is my guy. Put him somewhere in S. Where in S? Uh, lower, lower. She's hot. <laughs> She's literally just here for that. Um, Artie, lower. Charlotte, lower, lower. <laughs> lower than Orochi. But they can stand side by side because I think I paired them up in this final round. Sophie, I love to bits. Honestly, I'm not even going to front. I'm going to put Sophie in us, too. Right next to her daddy. I love them both so much. I really do. <laughs> Those are, like, two of my favorites in the game. Uh, Sophie and Silas. And I think I'd like Sophie. No, I like Silas a little bit more. He's just an all-around good guy. Uh, Sophie's great comedy relief. <sighs> Subaki. I'm really hit or miss on Subaki. I think he's down here. And I'm going to put him right there. Right above Hinoka. Um... My guy, you gotta be down here, too. <laughs> you just got your, your attitude. His attitude, he's gotta be down there, too. I can't, not for nothing, Valoria. I want to put her in B as well. I think we have to, like, we're gonna have to thin the B crowd. We probably have to thin the S crowd, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, put Valoria here. I think I, I like her a lot more than her dad. And she saved me a couple of times. I'm honestly going to put her up here. Not for nothing, I'm going to put her up there. Lilith. <laughs> she might get her own ranking, guys. She might get her own ranking. Xander. So here's the deal. I think Xander's a better leader than Ryoma. Where did I put Ryoma? Did I put Ryoma in B? I did. Okay. Because I put him in C at first. And I was like, I don't think he deserves to be in C. I like Xander a lot more than Ryoma. Not for nothing. Unless we look at his behavior in Birthright. But ignoring that, I like him a lot more. <laughs> like, so much more than he's in my A rank. He's, like, up here somewhere. He might be higher. Yeah, he might be, like, here. He might be, yeah, he might be there. Because, like, he does subtle things. And, like, subtle things and, like... He's got this, like, serious demeanor. This serious, unapproachable demeanor. And then you see his softer side. Um, Ryoma, you already kind of know he has a softer side. And that's about it. He just hits heavy and you know he has a softer side. Xander, he hits heavy and he looks like he'll murder you. But Xander's a good guy. Uh, Yukimura. Couldn't care less about Yukimura. I hate to be that guy. Uh, but he... I like him more than the both of you. Not Hinako, though. And I, feel, I think I like Hinako more here and more here. Add more here. Let me not front. Hinoko doesn't suck the worst. 
Oh, did we actually, we are actually done with that, um, that face song? We're almost done with the tier list, too, so let's just replay it real quick. Um, that was another 30 minutes. Are we an hour in? Oh, man, I expected this to just be an hour. Um, but we're on our last one, and that's Lilith. She, we've seen her die three times. <laughs> um... Like, we can meme her. We could just put, like, Lilith snacks somewhere up here. But, like, if we're, like, really ranking Lilith, without the DLC, she's probably here. Who really cares, right? With the DLC, I put her, like, here. She becomes a much more, like, interesting character and figure when you have that DLC. Without that DLC... Who cares? <laughs> With that DLC, wow, she's something else. Yeah, yeah, I think Lilith is fine there. I think I would actually put Lilith there. And that's one of those things where I was like, oh man, Lilith, hold up. Can we date her? And then no, she turns into this dragon thing, and I'm like, oh man, a, a shame. And you know what? Thank goodness they didn't let me date her, because that's technically our sister. <laughs> So at risk of becoming, uh, uh, or ra rather having this go on for too long, let's look at this tier list real quick, and be sure to do this yourself as well. Uh, and I'm gonna go through the comments and pick them out. I'm gonna take the S rank. Uh, Owen, top of the S rank, does he deserve to be there? Yes. Uh, Rinka, does she deserve to be here? I do not like Rinka more than... Now, here's the thing. I think it's a matter of bringing you up. It's a matter of bringing you up above Rinka, and it's a matter of you bringing you up here as well. Um... How far will attractiveness take you? I honestly think I like Rinka maybe here. Yeah, I think I like Rinka. I mean, like, so, like, that's just me. <laughs> I Part of my brain is still thinking about attractiveness, and Rinka's hot. I'm not gonna even filter. I like, she's hot. Let's be honest. She's from the Flame Tribe, too. That's fire. That's Inferno. She's about to be on the, the premiere episode of AWE, Friday Night Inferno. That being said, um, just because she's from the Flame Tribe, I, I, I think she still goes higher because, like, I'm thinking about her supports, too. She's a hardhead, but then she does the meditation with Ryoma. We saw all of her supports with Fulgent. And it's probably also me adding character to <laughs> from Fulgent to her. I don't like her more than Silas, though. I think we gotta move Silas up and we gotta move you up above Orochi. That I'm more comfortable with. Uh, there's the same amount of people in S than there are in A. We can easily fix that by doing that. And then I'm like, okay, I'm okay with that. Um. And then let's look at our A's. Uh, Shiro, do I like Shiro more than Nyx? I think so. I like them about the same. Dwyer, I like them about the same. Uh, Baruka, I like less than Dwyer, so I think that fits. Baruka, do I like more than Effie? Mm. Yeah, I think I do, actually. Effie, do I like more than Soleil? No, I think I like Soleil more. Effie, do I like more than Ignatius? No. Effie, do I like more than Xander? No. Effie, do I like more than you? Yes. And then Nina is no longer staring at two dudes. So I have to fix that. fixed. Now she's staring up ahead, and she's got those two to look at. Uh, Scarlet. Yeah, I think that's fine. I, yes, I like Scarlet more than you. I think I like you more than you, and I think I like I think I like you more than uh, Selena as well. I think I'm good on A for now. Uh, do I need to bring anyone down to C? 
I don't feel like Sulk is a... Sulky might be a C character. Ugh. But she's funny. That's my thing. So Sulky gives me the Naoi vibes. And y'all saw I put Naoi down in C. But like, Sulky's at least made me laugh. Naoi's kind of just been like, uh, okay. Sulky's at least funny. <laughs> Sulky's made me hee hee ha ha, so I gotta keep her in B. So I think I'm keeping B the way it is. Uh, Camilla. I like Sulky more than I like Camilla, and I like Sulky more than I like you, and I like Sulky more than I like you, and I like Sulky more than I like you. Sulky, <laughs> I'm just remembering all these things about Sulky, and I think Sulky's actually way too low. Um. I think Sulky might be here. With her mama. Uh, <laughs> Rajat, I like more than Siggy. Siggy, do I like more than Kildori? Yes. Kildori, do I like more than Gaius? Or Asugi, no. Uh, Kildori, uh, Jacob, no. Uh, Kildori, Oboro? No, actually. Kildori, Flora, sure. Uh, Flora, Niles? Sure. Niles, Kaze, no. Niles, Azura? No. Niles, Fuga, yes. Fuga... Kagero, no. But then Fuga Niles, yes. Um, Sakura. Over... I think you actually might be even further up. I like Sulky, I really do. <laughs> I think I was trying to convince myself not to like Sulky as much, and then I started to remember all of her scenes, and I was like, hold on. <laughs> I think I do like Sulky. Uh, Forest. Over Hinata or below Hinata? I think I like Forest a little bit more than Hinata. Um, and then Hinata more than Leo. Reina's there above Midori, which is fine. Hisame, I think I actually like a little bit more than Midori, if I'm being completely honest. And then those three are fine. C rank gives me... I just had his name in my brain and now it's gone. But I'm gonna call them father and son. Uh, Hiyato, <laughs> below them. Uh, Hinoka. Uh, our man's with the scar, whose name I've even said, Saizo, um, Tsubaki. <sighs> Tsubaki Saizo. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna put Saizo below you. But above Yukimura, Hana remains there. Uh, Gunther, Perry, and Azama. I like Azama more than I like Perry, and I like Azama more than I like Gunther, and I like Azama more than I like Hana, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things where Azama's at least made me laugh. In fact, I think I might move Azama way higher up in C. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna move Azama way higher up. And then D, the, and then the thumbhead. That feels about right. This... ...is my Fates tier list. That's where I stand. From the top, we have Greg Tier, Greg, all of our Corrins, and our Dragon Babies. Ayo, Ophelia. Y'all, Anna's not here! This one doesn't have our Anna's in it! Gosh darn it! If we had Anna, she would be an S because she hits different, and I think she would be at the bottom of us below Mozu. Uh, <laughs> that's just for that. Uh, the Fulgents are all there. They were all in A. But then I was like, but together as the Fulgents, they are above us. They are S+. Plus. They are the Fulgents. They are a league of their own. Um, then we have that A tier, the B tier, the C tier, and our D tier. And we have completed a tier list. We did it. This is, I guess, a shorter little installation of, uh, Fire Emblem Mondays. Because it's not Fire Emblem Fates anymore, because we're done with Fates, which is kind of crazy to me. Uh, this is the last Monday of the year of the Zenith, isn't it? Wow, <laughs> that's crazy to me. Um, huh. Huh, I guess next Monday... is the second and this oh i'm gonna have to change that sign oh i gotta find all those letters i still haven't done that yet i don't know where they are that being said 
stay classy. Do I have any announcements to make? So, Saturday, I announced that we would be doing the first Friday of every month would be Friday Night Infernos, AWEs, monthly programming. And currently, the AWE champion is Camilla. She pinned Klee, I believe, in Fatal 4-Way Action. Boss lost her title, did not even get involved in the pinfall. That being said, I think Boss does have merit to say, hey, I want another opportunity. And I'll be thinking about that. I'll be thinking about that, because I need to start announcing those six matches. And I have a rough idea of the six matches I want to do. I know two of them that I definitely want to do to kick things off. Three of them, I guess. That would be four. Um, five and six. It's, it's interesting because I don't really have much like... I don't have anything written down for Fire, uh, Friday Night Inferno. I have the arena made. I have the logo made and that's about it. However... I think just sitting here for a couple of seconds literally had me fill out in my brain four of the six matches that I definitely want to do to kick off the first Friday of 2023. And with that, stay tuned, stay classy, until then, toodaloo, flight crew, Fire Emblem Mondays continue tomorrow, we'll probably dip into, I guess, maybe we'll do Fates lunatic mode tomorrow or rather next monday it'll be a shorter episode it will definitely not be two to four hours of shenanigans but it'll be a good time until then toodaloo like for thanks for watching